Obama grants clemency to inmate, but inmate refuses. Washington, when President Obama announced a program to grant executive clemency to drug offenders given long mandatory sentences, Arnold Ray Jones did what more than 29,000 federal inmates have done, he asked Obama for a presidential commutation. And then, after it arrived on August 3, he refused to accept it. Jones' turnabout highlights the strings that come attached to an increasing number of Obama's commutations, in this case, enrollment in a residential drug treatment program, which has been a condition of 92 of Obama commutation grants. Jones is the first to refuse that condition. If Jones had agreed to complete the, the program, he would be out in two years. He still has six years left on his original 2002 sentence for drug trafficking, but Jones may be counting on getting time off for good behavior which would have him released in April 2019, eight months longer than if he had accepted the commutation. Jones, 50, is in a low-security federal prison in Beaumont, Texas. The unusual rejection came to light last week, when Obama commuted the sentences of 102 more federal inmates. With the 673 previous commutations granted, the total should have been 775, but the White House accounting had only 774. At about the same time, the Department of Justice updated its online record of Obama's commutations and updated Jones' entry with the notation, condition declined, commutation not effectuated. The White House and the Justice Department declined to talk about the specifics of the case. But inmate records that Jones submitted as part of his court case show that he used crack cocaine weekly in the year before his arrest, and that drug treatment programs he's completed in the past have been unsuccessful. The Bureau of Prisons describes its residential drug abuse program as its most intensive treatment program, where offenders are separated from the general population for nine months while participating in four hours of community-based therapy programs each day. Jones' mother said Thursday that she was excited about the news of Obama's commutation and wasn't aware that it was rejected. I don't know about him declining or anything. I'm looking for my son to come home, said Ruth Jones, of Lubbock, Texas. Unlike pardons, which represent a full legal forgiveness for a crime, commutations can shorten a prison sentence while leaving other consequences intact. And as Obama has increased his use of commutations in his last year in office, he's also gotten more creative in adapting the power to fit the circumstances of each case. Unlike the more common time-served commutations, which release a prisoner more or less immediately, many of his commutations since August have been term commutations which have left prisoners with years left to serve on their sentences.